Ever since independence in 1923, the modern state of Turkey is facing both internal and external challenges on multiple fronts. Neighboring with a turbulent Iran, unstable Iraq, and a hostile Greece, is putting the Turkish policymakers in a precarious position. That is why the Turkish policymakers always advocated for a strong and mobile military force to cop up with these challenges. Which is why the Turkish armed forces are the second largest military force in the NATO alliance. Since early 2000s, the Turkish government started the development of indigenous weapons systems. The indigenous weapons program included the development of attack helicopters, frigates, amphibious assault ships, fifth generation fighter aircraft, and a the Altay crew consists of four personnel such as a commander, gunner, driver and a loader. The driver is seated at the center front of the hull and is provided with both thermal and panoramic vision sight. The turret is in the center of the vehicle with commander and gunner on the right, and loader on the left while the ammunitions are stored in the rear of the hull. The firepower of the Altay main battle tank is pretty good, it is equipped with 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun, which is suitable for various kinds of rounds. It is a version of the Rhine metal gun which is similar to the one used in Black Panther and in Leopard 2, however, the Altay tank gun is more advanced than that of Leopard 2A6 tank gun. The Rhine metal gun range is more than 7,000 meters, although the range also depends on the rounds it fire. The Altay main battle tank will be able to fire both armor-piercing as well as high-explosive shells. In armor-piercing shells, the Altay tank can use M322 and M338 APFSDS projectiles. The Turkish Leopard tanks also used these M338 APFSDS projectiles during its operations in Syria. The M338 projectile's main purpose is to penetrate and neutralize heavily armored tanks. The M338 is a third-generation high-velocity low-trajectory projectiles that have excellent accuracy and penetration capabilities against main battle tanks with modern armor and heavy reactive protection shield. The M338 projectiles incorporates low-vulnerability propellant that increases its muzzle velocity while keep maintaining its precision probability. The M330 will operate M325 high-explosive shells to target lightly armored vehicles and infantry in the open fields. The advanced technology of M325 enables it to hit targets over 4 km with high accuracy. The German Leopard tank and Israeli Merkava tanks are also using the M325 multiple-purpose heat rounds. The Altay main battle tank can carry 40 rounds of ammunition, which is stored in the turret bustle fitted with blowout panels, while remaining rounds can be stored inside the hull. The Turkish Altay main battle tank will reportedly be using anti-tank guided missiles for precision strikes at long ranges. A Turkish firm named Rocketson is currently working on the development of anti-tank guided missile for the Altay tank. The Altay main battle tank can also carry a 12.7mm caliber machine gun, which will be mounted on the top of the turret. There are eight smoke grenade discharges mounted to rear top side of the turret. The smoke grenades will help it to disguise from anti-tank guns and during actual tank battles. The firepower of the Altay tank is as good as any other modern main battle tanks, as its armor are more or less similar to that of K2 Black Panther tank, which makes sense because the Altay tank program is supported by South Korea. The Altay main battle tank has a very it is protected with extra applique armor of era package. The extra layer of applique armor is also wrapped around the entire tank to provide it better protection against projectiles, especially against APFSDS rounds. This will offer greater protection to crew from all around the tank. Whereas the engine compartment of the tank is fitted with an extra layer of caged or slat armor as well, to provide an extra layer of protection for the engine. The protection of the Altay tank is further enhanced with the Hard Kill Active Protection System, which can intercept RPGs and anti-tank guided missiles mid-air. But despite its greater armor, there is still one big problem with the protection of the Altay main battle tank, and it's the storage of ammunition in the storage hull. This can create a big problem for the survivability of the Altay tank, as in Syria, two of their Leopard tanks got destroyed for that same reason. However, a Turkish defense expert related to Altay tank program has addressed this issue. He said the T2 version of the Altay tank will see an isolated ammo storage, and will get an extra layer of protection as well, which will solve items to the Turkish army's upgraded Leopard main battle tanks as well. The Altay has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer engagement capability. It provides panoramic and thermal vision sight to both commander and gunner to search for target. 
Once the target is selected, the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes the aiming and firing process. The first batch of Alte T1 main battle tank was powered by a German car 501 turbocharged diesel engine, which would provide 1,500 horsepower and 5,000 newton meters of torque, which combines with the automatic transmission to provide the tank with the best mobility in the world. However, due to geopolitical differences, Germany stopped supplying the car 501 engines to Turkey for Alte tanks. So the new T2 tanks will either be equipped with the South Korean Doosan Infracore DV27K diesel engine, or the indigenously developed diesel electric engine. The Turkish domestically developed engine is currently in testing phase and will enter into mass production by the end of 2021. Both Korean and Turkish engine can provide 1500 horsepower to Altay tank, so whichever engine they choose to procure will not affect the mobility of the Altay main battle tank. Though there were some small issues with the first batch of T1 version of the Alte main battle tanks, however these issues will be resolved before the production of the T2 version. Turkey is planning to acquire at least 200 T2 version of the Alte tank. So overall the Alte T2 tank will be a formidable main battle tank, which will be capable enough to take on any tank in the world. That's all on the topic for now, make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel to get updates about our future videos. Thank you and have a great day.